Hello, welcome back to another voice thread tutorial. Uh, we're going to start this time by we're assuming that you've logged in and you've clicked on the My Voice tab up here. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at this first video that I have created. And if you look at the options here, you get options to delete, to make a copy, share, or edit. Uh, if you choose to edit, just click back in and you can upload even more content. So if I wanted to say take a photograph or you could choose a JPEG or a GIF. All you've got to do is go back to your computer and I have the voice thread logo. I'm going to click open and it'll upload and it will pop up right here. And the nice thing is even though this was a PowerPoint, this is the first slide, this is the second slide, once it's in voice thread you can rearrange as needed. So I want to move that one to the say maybe the center or maybe even the very beginning just by clicking and dragging. Now, just as before, once you've uploaded all your content, you go ahead and make comments. So here we go. I think what we'll do is we'll start commenting here. And now I'm going to do a little different. We'll use our webcam. So we'll click the webcam button. Right, there I am. And you can see I'm recording right here, so I can wave at the camera. And as I want to stop recording, I just click stop. And I click the save button here. And voice thread process it. Now you can see I have a thread there. Now one important thing is if you have a classroom of say 10 kids, or 10 students I should say, you can go ahead and create multiple identities for each account. And we'll go ahead We'll go ahead and do that now. I click on my well, actually I have a click right here. I can just create another identity. I'm just going to add one here and I'll call this one student one and I'll save that. Then I'll add a second one. We'll call him student two. And we'll add a third identity. We'll call her student three. And it's almost like monopoly pieces with these different identities. I'm going to click Done. I'm going to close that. And I'm going to change my identity now. And I'm not going to worry about adding a photo. And now if I make comments on this slide with a different identity, this is what happens. This time I'll just record audio. So now we're talking and all we have instead of the video is just straight audio. And you can see it's capturing right there. So now we'll stop recording. And we'll click save. And now we have two small threads. And there's a third option. Rather than do audio or video, I'm going to go ahead and type this time. And I can make a comment. And I'll just say, this is the that's the voice thread logo. So now, by clicking on the different pieces, you can see how it just kicks over. It does take a little while for the media to load. But that shows you a quick demonstration of how you can create different portfolios for your account. Not, not portfolios, but identities, and make comments all using the same account. This concludes this short voice thread tutorial.